Hi folks and welcome back to the Star Wars Library, where Star Wars is in print, and I know I was a little bit dogging on the last Marvel issue, but we're going to be talking about a much better issue today. Uh, it's issue 90, written by Mary Jo Duffy, so that probably helps, and the story is called The Choice. Now, you can find this in a long time ago, volume 6, Wookiee World, uh, which is uh, something that I've been saying for a while, and um, and the cover of issue 90 is right here. And I actually really, really like it. Leia uh, wanting to be like the political side with Mon Mothma and all that, but then you have her with Han and Luke and kind of the uh, the adventurer side. So basically, um, uh, it, it starts, it, Leia and, and Mon Mothma have come back from their mission that we talked about two episodes ago. And um, Luke and Plif come back with their posse and um and so kind of the main continuity is is back where it's kind of okay we're all together again yada 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 um though kiro is off hunting so we're on endor and it starts with the droids which is kind of cool and so they're all getting back and um and you know we're doing all this and and come to find that um um basically um Kiro has asked Luke for training, um, and Luke says, no, not right now. He's, he's, uh, but Kiro is, um, you know, he's a mainstay character. Now, now the thing you have to remember is that right now Luke is still very, um, very, and you see this in, in a lot of more of the more modern expanding universe, especially in like Truce of Akura. Um, you see that he's a little bit hesitant to, to teach the force. Um, he's, he doesn't think that he's ready yet to go that, go that route. And so we continually see that in the Marvel series as well. Um, now, what really is, is really cool, I guess, about this story, um, and the reason why I really like it, you know, I mean, like, there's this whole subplot with these gangsters and stuff like that, and, you know, and there's kind of a cool, there's some cool action with the Rebels and the Ewoks and Luke and all that, but what, what I really like about this story is... Um, there's a discussion between Luke and Leia where they're kind of, they're, they're talking about where, like, where to go from here. Um, you know, they need to be, um, I guess, cautious when doing things because, or dealing with the Force, because they're Anakin Skywalker's children. Um, and they're also kind of talking about how do we go about sharing this, you know, should we tell people that Anakin Skywalker was, not only was Darth Vader, but that he is also our dad. Um, you know, how do we share it? So we kind of see, you know, and we see this throughout the expanded universe where, you know, it slowly but surely people start to learn it, but it's, it's, it's kind of kept to just the main characters for now. Luke and Leia keep it to themselves. Obviously Han knows, um, but it's just kind of a really good, um, really good talk of just kind of going through and talking about as you know, okay, how do we deal with this? How do we go about this new information that we've that we've had? You know, they've not really had a chance to just kind of and talk about it. And so I think this is a really cool, really cool thing. And again, we'll see this more in the modern EU where um, Leia has a hard time forgiving Anakin compared to Luke. Um, Luke is a little bit more forgiving, and Leia it, it takes a while until eventually Tatooine Ghost, where she learns. That, you know, he wasn't born this devil child. Um, it was, you know, there was something else at foot that made him, that made him turn. So, um, and then, so basically, you know, Leia is, is also trying to be like, okay, should I stay as a diplomat or should I embrace my heritage and use, and train to use the force? Um, eventually, of course, we, we see in the expanded universe that she does decide to use the force. Um, but for now, she feels as though her role is in government as a politician. And so, like I said, there is, there is, um, you know, some, some cool, I guess, you know, okay things with like these, these governor, you know, like this little subplot with some of these gangsters and, you know, and kind of this whole thing of this misunderstanding, like, you know, it's a he said, she said kind of situation. Uh, it, it's not bad, but again, the main reason that you should check this out is because of, the Luke and Leia discussion. I think that's great. Um, so there's not a lot of action, but a lot of content, I think is the short and simple way to put that. So um, 
is this story, uh, the choice in, in this uh, trade, is this worth your time? Should you check this out? Is this an essential read? Um, yes, I think so. Um, Kiro gets better. Um, and so you get to see Kiro doing more things. Um, but of course, like I said, the main meat and potatoes of this is the Luke Skywalker and Leia Organa um, discussion. So I think that's really intriguing. I think it's really good for the Marvel series to tackle this. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I think it is worth checking out. Even modern EU readers who aren't reading the Marvel series, if you want to see Luke and Leia's perspective on this kind of thing, um, this might be worth your time. I think it is a very uh, interesting and unique story. Um, even though it is kind of just a one one and done story, just kind of thrown in there, it's not a bad one. So um, I would I would say check it out. So thank you so much for tuning in, folks, and I will see you next time with another episode.